case speed. So I think a little bit of variety is good there. Um, <laughs> I'm going to actually just gave him some catnip. Just to sort of see if we can see it more. Yeah, you can see how that looks a little bit more realistic. It's uh, you know, it eventually it'll get um, you know as the stuff gets spaced out, it's a little bit better. I think it would probably be good to uh, give it a much bigger range for where they can start so that things are already spread out at the beginning. There we go. So you can see here's the rain kind of falling more in sheets with some gravity with different sizes, with different lengths. Now, I think there's one more thing we could add to this to make it feel a little bit more like rain in a three-dimensional space, right? We could create a sort of pseudo-parallax-like effect, like things that are closer to you are going to appear if they're falling faster, and things that are further away are going to appear if they're falling slower. So we could increase the stroke weight and the size and the speed with the same with the same variable. So what if I gave every drop like a Z value, which is some random number between like 0 and 20, only between 0 and 20. When things are 20, they are thicker, faster, and longer. When they are 0, they are thinner, shorter, and slower. Okay? So here we go. Let's see how that looks. It's probably not extreme enough. Um, and I wonder if the gravity should also be matched. <laughs> um, so let me uh, let's make the speed much more extreme. I'm just curious if that really makes a bigger difference. 